Hey guys, F8 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be having a look at the brand new DLC for Rainbow Six Siege, Velvet Shell. So let's check out the new operators. For the attacking side we have Jackal. So let's go ahead and get into him here and check out his loadout. He's got three primaries. He's got an assault rifle, the C7 Echo. Check out the sights, see if there's anything new. Doesn't look like there's anything new in here from the previous. Check out the barrel. I went with the flash hider with the burst control. Of course, you have to have the vertical grip. For the second primary, we're going to check out the PDW 9, it's a submachine gun. The uh, flash rider again. Capacity is massive, 50. Rate of fire, 800. Damage is a little bit low at 33. But I bet you this thing's gonna be super controllable. I bet you the recoil on this will not be very uh, staggering to fire. The third primary, there is the shotgun. The ITA 12L. Secondary, we got a pistol, the USP-40. On this, I went ahead and I just put the suppressor on it. And interestingly enough, they have another shotgun, but for it's for the, uh, the secondary here. Super short barrel. I bet you this thing's definitely got to be a close range uh, weapon. Super close range, I should say. Of course, I went with the uh, charges there. Check out the headgear. You have the defaulty. Doesn't look too bad. The photon. And the velvet shell. Looks like it's camouflaged. Let's go back to the photon. Defaulty. Yeah, I think it is camouflaged. I think we're going to go with the photon, though, for the time being. I'm liking that white combination there. That's nice. Let's go ahead and have a look at the uniforms here. Of course, we have the defaulty, which is just uh, green, and uh, his vest, which is black. Nothing too uh, special about that. But the photon BDU looks interesting with the orange, white, and black pattern. I think we'll go ahead and we'll uh, give that one a try. Kind of liking the looks of that. Not very tactical, but hey, I haven't played a game in him yet. And of course, you have his bio here. It kind of gives uh, a bit of his background and training and uh, experience. So that's cool. Let's go back here. That was the attacker. Now let's look at the defender here, Mira. She looks interesting. So let's have a look at the loadout she comes with. Oh, look at that. A Vector 45 ACP. Submachine gun and the sh same shotgun as the attacker, the ITA 12S. Uh, the S is actually the sidearm, the secondary weapon. That's it's so interesting. They come with shotguns. Wow. Let's have a look at the vector. I think we'll throw a sight on it here. The barrel. Probably the flash hider, I would think, for the burst on something like this would be super beneficial. So we'll go with that. Go ahead and buy that. Right, back to the grips, of course. There's only one grip, and it is for weapon recoil, so we will be buying that for sure. I don't really care about charms. You have to have the six on there. There's no other ways about it. Let's have a look at the skins. El Dorado. I'm liking the looks of that. Same thing with the next one here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> Crossfader. And of course, then you have the basic colors. And what do we do down here?
like it. Really liking that El Dorado. That thing looks solid. All right, let's go back here. Definitely gonna try this. The old Vector. Nothing can go wrong with that. And definitely probably secondary for shotgun. Which is so interesting to me. I'm not a huge fan of putting sights on shotguns. So I don't think I will. I'm definitely gonna put the charm on there. Everything needs charm. Alright. Let's go back here. Headgear. Defaulty. Then we have the Stingray. Which is... Looks like orange straps on it. Of course, we have the... Velvet Shell, which is camouflage. That looks really cool, that pattern on there. I'm really digging that pattern. I will have to pick that up later. Let's look at the uniforms. We have the defaulty, which is black. With the yellow gloves. And then we have the Stingray BDU, which is orange. No, it looks like it's gray with the orange gloves and orange accessories there. I'm liking that. I think we'll go with I think we'll go with that. The the Stingray BDU. I think we'll stick with that. Stingray head on here so we can uh, head gear on here so it matches a closer look at that. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, I think that'll do it for the first look at Velvet Shell here. And I will catch you guys on the next one.